Hey, Emily, you all right? Has been in an accident. What? Hospital rang. Uh, he's in a hit and run. Some taxi driver found him lying in the street. How bad is he hurt? <sighs> A few broken ribs and a bit concussed, that's all I know. Look, I, I can't talk, I gotta go. All right, well, let me know if you need anything, yeah? Do you really think we've got nothing to worry about? I think we'll be fine. I mean, Abby's already said she can fix the dent on the car, so at least that's sorted. And then if he did hit like a dog or something, hopefully it's all right and it's made his way home. Oh, I hope so. I hate to think of her a poor, defenceless animal. Yeah, or a poor, defenceless human being. You, you're right, I don't know what I was thinking this morning. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just don't go driving any more cars illegally, all right? I won't, trust me. Oh, hello. Big business meeting, is it? <sighs> no, I need a drink. Why? What's up? Just been talking to Dev. Yeah, say no more. <laughs> so Billy's told him that Todd's in hospital. One of the cab drivers found him laying in the street this morning. They think it's a hit and run. That's terrible. Is he hurt uh, badly? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. <laughs> don't worry. You've not died and gone to hell. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sore. Then, you know, I was run over, so sadly surprising. The nurse told me that the taxi driver who brought you in found you at about 5 a.m. What were you doing out then? Got a paper round. Did I not tell you? I just couldn't sleep. I decided to go out for a walk. That was a big mistake. Can you remember what happened? <sighs> I just remember it was oh, dark and. I was walking down the street and the next thing was in the back of a taxi with no clue what's going on. Well, the doctor seems to think that you're going to be OK, so that's the main thing. I'll get George to drop off some things for you later. Are you going already? You were in an accident and I was worried. This doesn't change anything. Try and get some rest. Oh, no, just a bit of a mad day, you know how it is. Um, what about you? You having a sky? Oh, no, fat chance. I've just uh, been on the phone to Eileen, just seeing how Todd is, and he's, he's feeling very groggy and confused, but he's awake now. Right, OK. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the hospital, see how he's getting on, and then hopefully find out what happened to him. Well, don't you think you should leave it a day or two? Why? Well, if he's awake, he's going to be tired and all over the place. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I might wait till tomorrow. Well, when you do see him, send him our best. I will do. All right, listen, I'll let you crack on. Bye. See you. Come on in. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> you should see our place. <laughs> right, well, I won't keep you for long, but I just wanted to let you know that there was a hit and run around the corner this morning, and it was Todd Grimshaw. Yeah, um, I heard. I just wondered if you knew anything about it. Me? No. Why would I know anything? Show it up. I'm in here with Craig. Oh, hi. What are you doing in the house alone with my wife? <laughs> um, I was just letting her know that Todd Grimshaw was involved in a hit and run around the corner this morning. So I'm just going from door to door to see if anyone saw or heard anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, my sister told us about that. How's he doing? Not great, but um, we think he should be fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, what time of day was this? Around 5 a.m. and quarter past. Ooh, uh, well, I mean, our alarm don't go off until 7, does it? Uh, I say alarm. I mean, Lily stood outside his bedroom saying, feed me, feed me, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, um, thanks anyway. <laughs> See myself out. Cheers. <laughs> you need to calm down. I can't, OK? And I can't do this anymore. I, we're just digging a bigger hole for ourselves and you just flat out lied to the police so that's you stuffed at all. I had no choice, did I? And anyway, there might be a way out of this yet. How? Well, because I've gotten rid of Susie for a few days, all right? So at least that's taken care of. And nobody actually saw the accident, did they? Except Todd. What even that we're uncertain about. All right, so what do you want to do then? Just want to sit here and wait no. for the police to come no. knocking again? No! I'm going to go to the hospital and see him.
Hi. You all right? Well, well. What a surprise. Yeah, I was uh, just having a check up about my epilepsy. Really, I thought I'd bob in here, see how you are. How did you know I was here? Sarah told us. Yeah, it's practically all over the street. Yeah, well, sounds like me this morning. <laughs> but the doctor said you're gonna be all right? Yeah, touch wood. Although I am pretty bad up. I've got two broken ribs, concussion. Bruises all over the shop. I'm sorry. About being run over, you know, but also about arguing over the stupid car parking spaces. Yeah, well, funnily enough, I was thinking the same thing. If I hadn't moved the hearse, then your wife wouldn't have been driving like a maniac trying to get into a precious parking spot. And I wouldn't be in hospital. You knew it was her, then? Knew it was your car. And I sort of guessed from the fact that she's not here and you're sniffing round that she couldn't handle seeing what she'd done. So how come you haven't said anything to the police? Because apart from getting her locked up, what's in it for me? So what do you want? Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Remembers everything. And what's more, he knows it were you who did it. Well, well that's it then. I'm, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm going to prison. He hasn't said anything to the police yet. Why not? I don't know. I think he's playing a longer game. He's after something. Like what? I mean, it's hardly going to be my body, is it? And if he wanted money, he'd have just come out and said it. No, I don't know what he's after. One way or another, he's going to make us pay for this. <laughs> 